Hello everyone, this is Legion of Gaia, we're back again. It's been a while, I was really busy all of last year, school was just really busy with all the assignments and all the readings I had to do. I also went on holiday for like nearly basically two and, two and a bit, two and a half months around uh, overseas in Hong Kong, where I really just didn't buy any books because I was also working at the time. Uh, but we're finally back, picked up a book that I've been looking for for a long time and I think is a very very hard to find book, especially for the run I'm collecting, which is the New 52 Batman run by uh, Snyder Capullo. And that is the Water Tower cover of Batman issue one. Uh, this one was only given out at the Warner Brothers Studios VIP tour for the Batman exhibit, which was celebrating 75 years of Batman. Uh, you can see the Warner Brothers logo on the Water Tower and just an amazing cover. Aside from the fact that Batman's legs are very hard to see. You see one over here and you see one here, but his cape basically covers it. Um, so it kind of looks like it's kind of floating because you don't really see him resting his feet against the water tower. But this is a great cover, really hard to find just because of how many of them there are out in the wild or people selling them. Um, so this is going to be going straight into collection. And while we're at it, might as well just do a collection update and also point some interesting things for Batman issue one. Uh, the number one they used is with a red highlight, which is, I think just signifies that it's a later print because it has the same outline with the uh, DC Comics Essentials reprinted version of Batman issue one, which I'm pretty sure is the red outline around the one is also can be seen on the Alamo City Comic Con variant because I'm pretty sure that was also a, a retroactive release of a previously released issue, which is Batman issue one. Uh, that cover looks exactly the same as this one, except it's got an orange tint over it, and obviously has like the Alamo City Comic Con logo. Uh, as you can see on these ones, the issue one border is blue, so I'm pretty sure the red just means that it was printed later than the initial release date. Um, in terms of scarcity, I'm still obviously looking for the issue one uh, sketch variant, the 1 to 200 one. Uh, that one's not really an issue of finding one, it's more an issue of finding one at a reasonable price because. Uh, the graded ones, people try to sell them for like five to eight hundred dollars on eBay. Uh, I really can't feasibly make that purchase right now. Um, so I'm always on the lookout for that one at shows and stuff. Uh, there are a few coming up in Australia or in Sydney at least. Um, this is the third printing, second printing uh, cover of this book. Um, I just love how the colors all change across the different printings and that's obviously just the variant cover. Uh, I'm glad I picked this one up because a lot of these books, especially issue one and two, are going up now. Uh, issue two, we only actually have just have issue two, which is a shame. Uh, this one's also going up in price though, so I am happy that I have this. I, I bought a lot of these before they all went up. Um, issue three, uh, we've got the regular cover, uh, which is great cover, very visceral raw but we also have the second print cover which is arguably better i'm going to say because the whole background is red and uh i like how the the talon's eyes are red as well in this one whereas batman's is still white i thought that's a really nice touch and of course we also have got the just the variant cover for this one i'm not sure about the ratios for this but uh i just thought it was interesting how the barcode is horizontal and vertical in the two different covers but this cover is also really nice. It's got this one on sale at my local comic store a while back. I've made a video about it too. But this is all just refreshing everything. Uh, issue four, I've got actually, I think a few different versions of as well. I've got the regular cover. Um, I've got the regular cover for a lot of these. I've got the second edition cover, second printing cover, which is just a red hue. And I've got the fourth printing cover, which is, has a really nice looking gray steamy hue. Um, I'm pretty sure one of the other ones is just white or like a blue hue. Uh, that one's pretty hard to find because I think that one's like the third printing. Issue 4 randomly just has a lot of printings. Same with issue 1, there's just a lot of printings for that which um, makes it really hard to find. Especially the fifth printing um, is really, really, really hard to find just because of how no one really stocked it, I guess. Uh, issue 5, we only have the regular cover, no other special printing ones. But we do also have the variant cover which is... Uh, really nice. Reminds me of the Batman Incorporated art style for a bit. Uh, the flatter faces, obviously. Uh, just very nice, because um, he's stuck in the maze in this one. I like this cover more than the regular one, actually, as much as I do like this one. 
Uh, issue 6 is one of my favorite covers. Uh, this is the really creepy looking owl cover uh, in which it features Batman turning into an owl because he's going insane. And have the second printing cover which for all of them basically the second printing covers just has a red hue. Um, and to just wrap up the Court of Owls arc which went on for the first 10 issues or 11 issues sorry. Uh, we've just got a lot of regular covers. Uh, issue 7, I've been looking at the sketch variant for this one, although that one's also pretty expensive. Uh, I've got issue 8, this one was a newsstand edition I'm pretty sure. Yup, because this is the very first book I ever bought. We have the second printing of the like the direct sales version. Uh, I think this one's the combo pack maybe? No, it's just the second printing. Uh, I've got issue 9, um, this one's a really, really cool cover. Um, I just love this one a lot. Mirrors issue 4's cover. I got issues 10 cover and also the variant. Uh, this one's okay, this cover. Um, it's a bit too... I, I don't know, this is something about this cover I'm not a bit of a fan of. Uh, of course we have issue 11. And also the variant, which I think is really cool because you get New 52 Owlman. Although Batman's face is a bit bizarre. Um, so that's the Court of the Owls. Um, I won't go over all of them, because uh, I'm mainly going over Court of the Owls stuff right now, because of how much more expensive Court of the Owls and Death in the Family stuff is. Actually, I might just also, also go over Death in the Family stuff, because a lot of this Death in the Family stuff is starting to creep up, especially the variants. Or more like, only the variants. Um, I don't know why, maybe it's because of this Joker storyline, but I just can't seem to find these at like the cheap prices I used to. Uh, issue 13, this is regular cover, uh, they, they did a whole line of them for all the different bat books for the event. Uh, issue 14, this is Joker in the Joe's Garage disguise. Issue 15, I'm really happy about issue 15 because I'm pretty sure I have every single version of this cover. I've got the regular one, I've got the combo pack one with the digital cover which has the red hue and like the brain nebulous bits. And I also have the 1 to 100 variant um, which I got for a great price a while back. Uh, I like how the Batman logo is green for some reason in this one. Really good. Issue problem is, it's just like, for this cover you can't really see, like the difference isn't as big as the other ones because most of the cover is predominantly black and white. And of course we have issue 16 and 17, um, 18 and also the second printing cover of 18. Uh, so I'm going to prioritize getting the covers for these and obviously the convention covers uh, due to how hard the convention covers are defined. But um, I also, lastly, I picked up a few variants. Uh, we had the issue 25, just the regular variant cover. Um, this one's not a bad cover. It's a little bit digital, uh, not digital, it's a little bit clay-like, I guess. It's the best way to describe it. Batman's face is really, really smooth. I'm not a big fan of that art style. I do like the blimps in the background. Gotham's always had blimps. Uh, I've also got issue 49, this is the Neil Adams variant month cover, uh, which is just a lot of reduxes of his existing panels. Um, this is just a really funny looking cover. Also just got text boxes back in, text, or speech bubbles back into covers, uh, which is really common now in Rebirth, in the Rebirth or post-Rebirth era, but in New 52 we didn't really see much of that. And of course we had the issue 46, this is the Looney Tunes variant cover. Um, I, I don't really care for this cover, but I just it's just there because I have to fill in the gaps. But yeah, um, that was it. That was the video. Um, always on the lookout for more covers. Uh, still browsing all the local areas. Um, but yeah, really happy to pick up this Water Tower variant. Um, really hard to find. It's right up there with the La Mola variant, which uh, I am also very happy to have found because I just can't find another copy of that anymore. Uh, even if I wanted to. Even if I wanted to, like get a second copy of that book. Uh, let me just grab it out. I'd like to show it off. So yeah, um, I, I, uh, this is important. It's just interesting because this art is very similar to the regular cover art, I think. I think it's just like another spin on it. Uh, they've got the same villains in, in the cover as well. But yeah, just very happy to pick up another hard to find variant. Uh, started to go for the sketch variants now and the convention exclusives, which are going to be very hard just because I live in Australia and the shipping is going to be a real pain. But until next time, this has been Legion Guy.